It's been a long time coming, but Beats finally has the successor to its uber popular on-ear headphone, and this is it, the Solo 2. Like the original, this new improved model costs $199.95 and comes in a variety of colors. Hi, I'm David Carnoy, and I'm going to give you the quick skinny on the Solo 2, which not surprisingly looks a lot like a mini version of Beats revamped over-the-ear studio headphone. For starters, the ear pads have been redesigned with swankier materials that make the headphones more comfortable to wear. And those pads offer a little bit tighter seal to prevent both sound leakage and sound seepage. Like the new studios, the Solo 2s are built more sturdily and have no visible screws and the curve of the headband has been changed to deliver a snugger, more ergonomic fit. The headphones fold up but not flat and come with a carrying case and a detachable cord with an inline remote and microphone for making cell phone calls. These do not have the active noise cancellation of the Step Up Studio and Studio Wireless models. I personally wasn't a fan of the original Solos and thought they were overpriced and lacked clarity. But the good news here is like with the new Studios, Beats has tamped down the bass a bit and gone with a more accurate sound profile with better detail. The Solo 2s don't offer quite the fullness of the larger Studios, but they're definitely more pleasant to listen to and sound significantly better than the originals. At $200, the Solo 2 is still a bit expensive, but at least its sound is more in line with a headphone that costs over $100 rather than one that costs less than $75. I'm David Carnoy, and that's the Beats Solo 2 on your headphone. Thanks for watching.